Hi, I'm Beth, and welcome to my channel, Born to be a Nomad, where I am documenting my journey to living full-time in an RV. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In today's episode, I am giving you a tour of my new camper. Well, obviously new to me, but anyways, <laughs> I... So a couple of days ago, I filmed this video and um, I have a new phone because my other one was just really giving up the ghost. And anyways, I messed up the video. I didn't realize what I was doing. So we're going to try this again now that it's not windy and raining and nasty out. So anywho, okay, so here's the front door. And as you can see, it's a rear living. There's my truck. This area here is where I really wanted to have my desk, um, but come to find out, this right here is not just a fancy little table. It has the power cord and also the water input for the tanks and, you know, for the camper water. So, you know, I we're going to try and see if maybe I can re... Um, orient it to where it's smaller and maybe just down below. But for right now, I have this really nice chair and it has a little ottoman, a little stool here, ottoman. Anyways, I just, I love the rear living with the big window. It just lets in so much natural light. There are, as you can see, there are some cabinets above it. Not a huge fan of the cat. I mean, I love the, that there are cabinets because it's a, a amazing storage but you know I'm not a huge fan of the arch so we're gonna see if we can maybe kind of square those off and either paint or add um, wallpaper or contact paper or something to the glass to kind of update the look my plan is to paint you know remove the uh, border and just paint everything white maybe um, the cabinets white maybe this trim you know remove the trim and possibly replace that with like a one by four. Um, and maybe paint that black, just add some contrast, have it really fresh, new looking. Um, replace the light fixtures. So as you can see it, this with, you know, my granny's floral couch has kind of a really like Victorian look that I'm just not into. So, um, originally, I had planned to put a couch and get a new couch here, but this may end up being where my desk goes. I measured this in 71 inches, which is, um, if I remember correctly, my desk is 42 inches, so that's plenty of room, plus maybe some room on the side for like my printer stand and printer. But um, And then it also has cabinets above that will get painted, but it has plenty of windows and light in the slide out um you know take down the balances and then it still has a dinette the bed or i'm sorry the couch does make out into a bed but you know so i'd be losing that but this dinette makes down into a bed if if i happen to need it but um you know we're gonna i'm gonna replace the cushions and for right now i don't think i'm gonna take out the dinette or replace it because Let's look at these drawers here. You can see it's so we're still going. I don't want to last time I filmed this, I accidentally pulled the thing out too far and it was a pain to put it back. So but yeah, I mean that that's amazing storage for like my Instapot and pans and stuff. But it runs the whole length of the dinette and then there's one on each side so yeah I mean I would hate to have to you know try to find something to replace that because that is just awesome but and we're walking okay so here is the entertainment center there's actually speakers built in here and then some at the back as well um where you can uh, hook everything up but my intention for right now is to cut this off like right here and then take this uh, counter top here and replace it down here so I would still have you know this great storage 
but then I'd have a place for my coffee pot and um, eventually maybe like a Berkey, which is a water filter. So that would be awesome. And then, you know, I might could put a cabinet up here, but if not, you know, even like shelves or baskets or something to add storage. But um, anyways, this is another cabinet. Let me back. Let me open it, but then I'll try to, so you can sit. Oops, got my finger. So you can see it does have hanging, but what I would love to do is put some shelves in and then use this as like a kitchen, like a food pantry. Um, because, and we'll tour the kitchen in just a moment. There's just not a lot of room, but there are great cabinet, or I'm sorry, drawers here that, um, provide storage for other items. And then we're walking. Here's the bedroom. I had the RV dealership remove the bed because it was old and smelled funny. So... I have my own mattress that I'm going to replace it. It is an RV queen short, but I'm short, so it's still plenty of room. Um, and then under here, lift up the bed. There's storage. It is a little bit unusual in that, like, right here where the carpet ends, that is part of the pass-through storage. That's actually the gr a grill that attaches to the outside of the camper. So what I may do is use something similar to here, like one by ones to kind of build a frame and maybe divide the storage, provide additional insulation. Um, I don't really plan on spending, oh, excuse me. I don't really plan on spending cold weather in Wyoming as much, so it won't be as necessary, but, um, you know, cause I, I want to chase 70 degrees, you know, like I said, I just, I, I like the separation so and then yeah definitely replace the window valances maybe just put little curtains up um, I have a wall you know take down the headboard um, I have a wall treatment that I'm wanting to do so we'll we'll see just paint but basically paint there's amazing storage here I um two long hanging on each side and then cabinets above. So I will I just really need one long hanging, but then like on this side, I can put some shelves in to give me um, store, additional storage and then, you know, have room above. Over to my left, there is a little table here for a TV, but I don't really watch television in bed and if I do, it's usually on my laptop or my, I'm sorry, like my tablet or something. So I'll just probably remove those and um, put pictures. I have pictures. I'll insert here um, <clears throat> my favorite pictures. So I'm going to possibly hang those. But there is a, a door here in the bedroom to the outside. Because when the slide is in, it basically blocks off this hallway. So you can't get to the bedroom or the bathroom. But having two entrances makes it much more convenient. <clears throat> excuse me. Because then I can... You know, like say I'm staying in a Cracker Barrel parking lot or something, I can leave my slides out, but I can still get to the bed and the bathroom. And then I would have to walk around to get to the kitchen, but that's okay. And then here is the bathroom. Okay, the toilet and sink and counter. I love that it has extra. Hello, I look rough today because I've been moving stuff and packing everything up <laughs> but anyways um I'm gonna put I have some baskets that I can put on the wall here to provide additional storage um but yeah I just there's a little bit of storage back in there and of course you know under the sink and I I don't I last time I opened this I had an issue so we're just gonna leave it and I'm gonna go around I there is a tub here which, you know, I'd have to wedge myself down into. But then some little shelves and more shelves. And then I haven't replaced it with my new shower head yet. But, and then a skylight. So we're going to walk back. And that is my bathroom. Close the door. Okay, and then here we are in the kitchen. 
so we have my refrigerator and freezer stove and microwave and then um, the sink with cabinets so the um, refrigerator you know it's a pretty good size it, it really is it has shell you know some shelves here and then plenty of shelves here and a little drawer there the freezers you know I mean it's amazing to have a freezer and it's not too bad of a size but I really have to kind of declutter my frozen foods before I move in because they won't all fit there um, but I have a microwave here and a um, vent hood so and then what I think is probably a brand new stove because this camper is a 2007 and I mean if you look at this it doesn't even look like it's ever been used I mean it just especially this oven <laughs> I mean look at that that's like brand new so my plan is to take I get a pizza stone which will help distribute heat in this in the oven and um, make it you know it'll work a lot better so then I got a little spice rack here and under the sink storage which is tall enough for a garbage can or I could add like a shelf so I could have um, a place for cleaning supplies above and then here are my drawers the top one doesn't come out very far look you see it's kind of yeah but um put utensils and stuff and these are a little better um and then this one here yeah so it's got it's storage is better and then above the sink are cabinets which I could put my dishes and stuff in but see that really these are all the cabinets that are in the kitchen so that's why I wanted to turn the one in the hallway into a kitchen pantry but um, and then you know paint the cabinets like I said everything white um oh it does have on the side here a little pop-up thing um, to add additional counter space and here's my sink with a drainer rack and a cover which I, I have seen a cover at Ikea online where it would it's a cutting board but it would basically cover this um, and you know it's got a, a pretty nice faucet but I really want one that like has a pull out and a sprayer so I probably will replace the faucet but um and then we're back here at the front door so you can really hear the vehicles because there's yeah see why I haven't but I'm gonna let me sit down so but look at I just I love it just feels so spacious you know, so I'm not in just a real narrow space. There's just so much space, and I love that. And I, I love being here by the window so that I can look out, you know, back up to a, a lake or whatever and have great views. And then we're, here we go. So I just, I'm so thankful for what you know what I have that it it's a great space it does need some updating I just I, I want to make it mine you know and make it make it homey and not look like it stepped out of the early 90s <laughs> anyways if you have any questions about my plans or if you have any suggestions or comments I'd love for you to leave them you know down in the comments below and I guess that will be all for this week okay I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.